Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Everyone is able to, everyone is able to hear me. Everyone is able to hear me? All right. Just two minutes, huh? Pop -lock. Yeah, in the meanwhile, I uploaded this all the notes yesterday till yesterday. The uh, Gradle, Jira, everything I uploaded till yesterday. Just check in the Google Classroom link whether you're able to download or not. I added all the notes till yesterday covered. Just check in the Google Classroom link if you are able to download or not. Okay. Everyone is able to see the material that I uploaded yesterday till yesterday. I'll share my screen. See, actually, so I'm able to see. Posted just now. Right, you're not able to see, right? Yeah, posted. 
Everyone is able to see this one? Yes or no? Yes, right? Okay. All right. All right. What about others? Only two responses I got. What about others? All right then. Now we are going to see the next tool in our course. So tomorrow will be completed, okay? Tomorrow I'll complete your course. So the next tool in our course is Datadoc. Okay, tomorrow I'll complete these three at a time because 15 and 16, there are no practicals. It's only theory part. Only theory. And uh, so today I'll cover this data doc. How many of you know data doc? Heard about data doc? How many of you know Datadog? Datadog is a monitoring tool. Datadog is a monitoring tool. Okay. So basically, it is also similar to ELK stack that we have seen. ELK, we have seen ELK, right, in this... Uh, this tool in the eighth tool we have seen, right? This is also a kind of monitoring tool for centralized logging. Similarly, Datadog is also the same way. So Datadog, is a completely enterprise tool. is completely enterprise tool. Okay, only limited free edition is available. Right? So ELK, so Datadog is similar to ELK. Okay, but Datadog is more user friendly. More user friendly than ELK. We can create e reports, dashboards easily with Datadog. Okay, we can we can create so we can create 
reports dashboards easily with data data so see basically data dog is an enterprise tool see how we can actually uh, say for example how we can monitor data dog say for example let us take you have a physical machine you have a physical machine okay so where we have a tomcat server running just one minute okay? where we have tomcat server only and in this we have a java application we have a java application right now what we can do is we can install a data dog agent here in this machine we can install a data dog agent how to install i'll show you data dog agent okay now this java application will send logs metrics okay this java application so this java application can send logs metrics okay what do you mean by logs we have seen that uh, like uh, your error logs or info logs and metrics are i'll show you the demo today in metrics what is metric means say for example uh, metrics can be your uh, server usage server usage metrics okay server usage metrics like your uh, metrics like uh, cpu memory right or you can also create some custom metrics custom metrics means so like count of count of api calls okay number of users logged in so these are called custom metrics okay so what data dog agent will do is so data dog agent will pull the metrics so data dog agent what it does is data dog agent will pull the metrics will pull the metrics coming from java application application and server okay and pushes this data pushes this metrics and logs data metrics and logs data 
to Datadog server. To Datadog server. So this will pull the metrics and then push the logs and metrics. Logs and metrics to Datadog server. So your data dogs. So this is your uh, this is your server. Uh, this is your centralized server where your data dog team is data dog is hosting. So it will push the logs to this server. We are going to see this demo actually. Okay, we are going to see this demo. We'll push some custom metrics to this data dog server. So what I'll do is, uh, so you can go to Datadog. Datadog. See this one, this, this is the link. Datadog hq.com. Okay. So this is the link, Datadog hq.com. So modern monitoring and security. See how only free trial available, but most it is an enterprise version. So where you can do log management, APM. APM is like application performance metrics. Okay, real user monitoring, security monitoring. So all that you can... Uh, do that. Okay. Actually, this is a data dog team who has built this product. All right. So, so data dog dot data dot hq dot. So this is the website. Okay, this is the Datadog server. So this Datadog server is running here. All right. So what I'll do, you know, I'll actually Datadog agent I installed long, I mean, few days back for the last batch. I think the trial version might have got uh, this. I'll delete this. I'll install it. Or you should install Datadog agent. Yeah. So I'll delete the old version of data because that also is a trial version that might have got expired. Again, I'll download the data dog agent with the new trial version. So what I'm doing now, I'll install this data dog agent in this machine. So you can have physical machine or you can have virtual machine, anything.
Okay. Yeah. Fine. So Datadog got it. Datadog agent got uninstalled. So what I'll do you now, I'll just click on free trial. If you open this website, just click on free trial. Okay. Try it for 14 days. So you'll get for 14 days. Okay. No credit card required. Only for 14 days, this agent will be there. Okay. Let me enter all these details, email and all that. So you entered all these details, you see. So this uh, after 14 days, you have to purchase the license. This is a licensed version. So so this one password I'll give admin at the rate. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let me now. Click on sign up. Now you see, after click on sign up, I got this one. See, tell us about your stack. We can install this data dog in any of these with these stacks, AWS, Doc, or Kubernetes, Mesos. So ours is Java, right? Let me install with Java. Select Java. Now, okay. Like how many servers your organization manage? Say I'll put like one server. Okay, I can leave the other blanks. I'll select this Java. Which is services are software to use? I'll select this Java. Right? So once you sign in. Once you sign into the data doc. Right? Select Java. Now click on next. Now you see, install your first data dog agent. Okay, now I have, I have to install the first data dog agent. This is a free version, I'll select Windows. If it is a Max, you can this one, Windows. <laughs> now, so new installation interactive, download the data dog agent installer. Run the installer as admin by opening this. Okay. Follow the prompts, accept license, enter the data dog API key. Then enter your data degree is this. When installation, you are given the option to launch a data dog agent manager. Okay, let me download this. So I'm downloading this.
Okay. So what I'll do is just open this folder. Let me run this as an administrator. How well done is. So one minute, let me run this as an administrator. Go to this command prompt. Command run as administrator. CD. So just run this one. Okay, so welcome to data lag agent setup wizard. Click on next, click on agree. Next, click on next, click on install. Your data lag agent is getting installed. Click on finish. It is not asking this key. Why this key is not given? Okay, so you can see the metrics here. Okay, let me know what I'll do. You know, I think uh, I think you note down this API key. I noted down this API key. So this is the key. So what I'll do you know already I have one project. What I'll do you know in this practicals. I I developed one Spring Boot project already. Okay, so what this Spring Boot project will do is it, I have I have this is this will be running in my machine, and I have Datadog agent also which is installed now. Datadog agent just now I installed right. Now in Spring Boot project I'll have an API, a REST API. Restful API. Now I will I will actually what I'll do you know I will configure a custom metric like number of times the API call is API called. Okay, from browser what I'll do you know from browser I invoke this API. 
using the URL. So invoke this API using the URL. How many times I invoke? Say first of, I will type, I will hit the URL. This custom metric will log the count as one. Okay, number of times actually. So custom metric has one. Suppose invoke two, your custom metric will be two, three, four. Like that, how many times I invoke, your count will be incremented. And this metric will be pulled by the Datadog agent. And what Datadog agent will do, you know, it will send this data, this will send to the Datadog server. This will send to the Datadog server. The count metric will be sent to Datadog server. Okay. So, now I'll have a Datadog. In Datadog server, in Datadog server, I can view the count metric. I can log in and I can, I can view, I can view the value of count. So what this value, what this value indicates? So this value indicates the number of times this API is called. Okay, this value indicates, this value indicates the number of times. Number of times API is called. Okay. Let us do this. So what I'll do, you know, hmm, I have already one Spring Boot project. Let me now take that Spring Boot project. Yeah, metric step. So what I'll do, you know, I'll just... Uh, Okay. Now what I'll do you know if I import metrics stem. So it's a Spring Boot project actually. If you see this is a Spring Boot project. See what I am doing, you know, I am having a REST API. Okay, slash API backs. Okay, this is in number of times this API is invoked. Okay. What I'm doing, whenever this API is invoked, I'm putting a back counter dot increment. Okay, this back counter is actually, uh, which actually uh, increment. First, it starts with value one. And every time this API is called, okay, first, first I'll uh, run this code, then I'll explain you the flow, okay? First, first I'll run this code. So what I'll do, you know, I'll change this API key. This is my API key. Okay, 
this API key and application key also what I'll do. I'll go to organization settings. Okay, go to your organization settings. Here you see. Go to your organization settings. Click on application key. Here you can see this uh, API key, this one. Go to your application keys. And click on new, key, new key. I'll use some, uh, this application name. This is a flight application. Flight application will have the bags and everything, right? Bag count and all that. So create key. Now you copy this key. You copy this key here. That's all. Okay, now let me run this code once. I'll start the application. This will start the Tomcat server. I'm getting this fail to send metric data to data talk. Where is this jar file? Where is here? Let me copy here also this jar. So what I'll do, you know, I'll stop this jar. Let me build this jar here. Run as ma'am and clean. Run as ma'am and install. Copy this jar here. So take this command. Okay, now let me, oh, I'm getting this error. I don't know why, fail to send matrix data to data dog, errors forbidden. Let me invoke the API. Slash API slash tax.
Is it local host 8080? 8085, port is 8085, sorry. So one, two, three, four. Let me know. Go to here and uh, see the metrics. If I go here, you explore. I'll select here. Flight uh, this metric back count. No, no, I'm getting error continuously. Why I don't know. That's why it's not able to send the metrics. Fail to send metrics data to data dog. Fail to send metrics. See if the if the data dog is not able to send the metric, that means this this data dog is not is it, is it is failing to send the metric to this server, so I cannot see the metric here. Last time also for last batch also I got the same issue. I'm just thinking, how I solved? I reinstalled this site. Let me reinstall again this. Or it should have admin access.
So what I'll do, you know, again, I'll open command prompt, run as administrator. Rename dot MSI. So next change change. We should ask for the API key here. I don't know why it is not asking. I'm just waiting for CC. After 30 seconds, I'm getting this error. Okay, what I'll do is let me fix this issue. Tomorrow I'll update. Okay, I think if this issue is fixed, it will be easy. I think some some my system already I installed many data dog agents. I'm not sure this is not taking. Give me some time, huh? I'll fix this and I will. Today I'll fix this. All right then, okay. So today I'll fix this and tomorrow I'll explain you this code actually. So that uh, you can see in the data dog, you can see the metric count here. I'll show you this. How you can see the metric count in the data dog. So today I'll fix this search. Tomorrow I'll complete this syllabus, okay? All right then, okay? So tomorrow we'll see then, yeah. Thank you all. Let me fix this issue. I think some issue with my system rights only. All right then, tomorrow we'll see then, huh? Thank you all. Tomorrow will be last day. I'll tell you, I'll complete and I'll tell you some interview tips also tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow we'll close this. Okay, thank you all.